Good day everyone. I am Christian Kate Abarquez, a student of CTU main campus, taking up Bachelor of Science and Technology in Electrical Engineering. And I am here now to present to you the different formulas in AC transitions, specifically in RL, RC, RLC circuit, and its example. By the way, a transient analysis deals with the behavior of an electrical circuit as a function of time. A circuit passes through a transition period before arriving at steady state condition, and the circuit is switched with an AC supply, in which the currents and voltages are not periodic functions of time. Start with RL circuit. So, we've seen this switch. If this switch will be turned on, this AC source E is equal to EM sine omega t plus theta will be applied to the whole circuit. This circuit will have the formula for the I max of I max is equal to EM or the voltage max over Z or the square root of r squared plus the omega l squared this omega l l is referred to the inductive reactance so this also so in this this is an angle so this angle is referred to the this angle in the impedance triangle this is the resistance and the active reactance and the Z or the impedance so to find this angle we will use the tangent so in the trigonometric equations when we use the tangent it is the opposite over the adjacent so here opposite which is the inductive reactance over the react resistance so for this angle is equal to ta the negative tangent of omega l over r then next we'll move on to the formula for the current current this current here current here so this current is equal to the i m i max sine omega t plus the phase angle, this phase angle is this angle and minus the, the angle here close parenthesis, parenthesis minus I max sin open parenthesis the phase angle minus this angle again then close parenthesis times E to the power of negative R over L times T this T is the time where when when this circuit closes so let's go to the example so given b is equal to 100 sine 377 t where l is equal to 0 0.1 henry r is equal to 10 ohms and i 0 is equal to 0 determine the current at t is equal to 0 0.01 so first we'll find the in inductive reactance x l is equal to omega l and omega l so we know that in given in, give in the given question this is the omega so 377 times the L value of the inductance is 0 0.1 Henry 1 so the inductive reactance will be 37.7 ohms next is we'll find Z or the total impedance Z is equal to We'll use the complex number format. So R plus J 
x l so r r r is value of r is 10 ohms 10 plus j 37.7 so we will convert it to polar form so, 39 angle 75.144 degrees ohms so next the angle for the this angle is equal to this this angle the yeah, 75 point 75.144 degrees next you'll find the i max i max is equal to e max over z so we in the given the given in the problem 100 sign so this is the magnitude 100 over z here this is the magnitude 39 ohms a max will be equal to 2.564 amperes that's for the IMAX and then we will we will solve solve for the current so remember the formula for the current is I is equal to I M sine omega t plus theta minus the angle plus parenthesis minus i m sine theta minus the angle times e to the power of negative r over L lah, R L E. So let's stop. Let's substitute for the values. So I M is equal to minus the A max of two point five six four sine angle of 75.144 is the end. and the uh, face angle is 0, 0.0 minus air then e equal to negative r is equal to 10 and the is 0 0.1 Henry 0 0.01 air then you'll just have to wait this here is in region so we will convert it to to degrees so we will multiply this to 180 180 over pi so i'm sorry it didn't Minus, okay. So this will yield to the current of two point fifty three amperes. That's the answer. Thanks. Talk about RC circuit. So this is the cap capacitor, resistance, and the switch the current and the voltage source so in this 
switch will be turned on the source will manipulate the entire circuit so we have the formula for the this angle in the impedance triangle yes the impedance triangle with this mm, this is the uh, we'll, we'll draw the impedance triangle Positive reactance, the R and Z. So we're going to find this angle, and we use the tangent. The tangent. So in the tangent, the trigonometric function tangent is tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, and this opposite over adjacent. So X C over R, and we know that the capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over 2 1 over pi c and so the resulting equation will be this 1 over pi r c now we're going to solve for the i max i max is equal to the e max or the voltage max over square root of r squared plus 1 over omega c squared or is equal to E max over Z since this is also equal to Z or the total impedance now we're going to know what will what is the formula for the current so current is equal to the A max sine omega T plus theta plus this angle plus the cross parenthesis E max sine theta over R minus I max sine open parenthesis face angle plus this angle and close parenthesis times E to the negative T over RC now so this is the formula and the circuit for the RC combination now let's go to the example so we have the problem yes a series rc circuit with r is equal to 30 ohms and capacitance of 250 microfarad is connected across an ac voltage source of emf 100 sine omega t through a switch the switch is closed at t is equal to zero determine the current when time is equal to 0 0.01 seconds so first we're gonna find the capacitive reactance xc is equal to 1 over omega c so the omega c here the omega here is this 100 so and the capacitive or the capacitance here is 250 microfarad so let's, let's substitute it to the formula 1 over omega is equal to 100 times the capacitance of 250 times 10 to the negative 6 since it's microfarad okay solving this equation we have the the capacitive reactance of 40 ohms second we have this capacitive reactance then we'll find the z or the total impedance z is equal to so we'll use the complex format 
R minus G the positive reactance. So it goes to resistance is 30 ohms plus plus G40. So it's equal to this complex is equal to converted to the color form it is 50 angle 53.13 ohms so next we'll find the angle so we have the impedance triangle of this R X C and D Z this angle is this so this angle is total three point thirteen here that's the angle so next to, to find the current so in the current we need the IMAX so the formula for IMAX is equal to EM over z is equal to m is equal to 1 10 volts over the z of 50 ohms here 50 ohms is equal to 2.2 amperes so 2.2 amperes we have the imax the angle and all are given so the formula for the current is equal to i is equal to i max sine omega t plus the phase angle plus angle Max sine of theta over R minus I M sine over E or negative E over RC. For this substituting for the values, I max is equal to 2.2 amperes sine 100 mega times time of 0 0.01 here times 0 0.01. So, so we will convert convert it to in degrees since it is in region this it is in region we will convert it to degrees and plus plus d face angle so you see this 100 sine 100 110 sine 100 t so the, there is no face angle so we put it zero plus the angle here 
Postpondices plus parenthesis e max of one hundred ten sine zero and zero degrees over R of thirty ohms minus two point two sign zero plus fifty three point thirteen angle times e to the negative zero point zero one seconds over RC 30 times 250 times 10 to the negative 6 so simplify simplifying this whole I is equal to 1.6 amperes. So just solve it in the calculator. So this is the RLC circuit. This is the resistor. The resistor here, the capacitor and the inductor. And the voltage source of em sine omega t plus theta so when this switch will be turned on this source will be will be applied to the circuit so in this circuit we have the formula for the i max is equal to em over square root of r squared plus quantity one over Omega C minus Omega L squared or or EM over Z so since C is equal to this next we will find the the angle in the impedance triangle here so this is the angle and we know we, we here in the tangent this opposite over adjacent so this is in here this is the the this is this the, the reactance the reactance of the two and the resistance here and the Z here so find this you get a tangent of the absolute value of 1 over omega C minus omega L all over R next we'll find the current in RLC circuit there are different cases to be considered in finding the current so first this is it these three are the different cases for the for the finding of current so case one the overdumped this when the roots of the auxiliary equation are real and instinct so in this case the formula for the current is c1e to the power of m1t plus c2e to the power of m2t plus im sine 
quantity omega t plus phase angle plus the angle in the impedance plus quantity so where m1 and m2 are the roots of the auxiliary equation so this is it for the formula in case one so we we'll move on to the case two case two or the critically dumped so it is when the roots of the auxiliary equation are repeated so in this in this case the formula for the i is c1 so the formula for the i is equal to quantity c1 plus c2 t plus quantity e to the power of m t plus i m sine quantity omega t plus the phase angle plus the angle in the impedance triangle where m is the roots of the auxiliary equation so this is it for the case number two then let's move on to the case number three this is also called as under dumped this when the roots of the auxiliary equation contains a real and an imaginary part so the formula for this is i is equal to a to the power of alpha t plus quantity c1 cosine beta t plus c2 sine beta t plus i m sine omega t plus phase angle plus the angle in the impedance so as you've noticed there are there are variables that I didn't discuss to you like C1 C2 the M1 the M2 the beta and yeah there are. so these variables is to be find by the next reporter in the DC transients since it is not included in my report so this is it just take note of this formula and later on you'll discover the values for these variables thanks for watching thanks for watching guys I hope you learned something from what I have presented to you and this is a goodbye. Thank you.